Don't fail yourself today. It's a beautiful thing when you go to bed at night, getting ready to close your eyes, days over, taking a breath. Because you've got all these grand visions in your head that tomorrow it's going to be different. We get one opportunity in life, one chance in life to do whatever you're going to do, to lay your foundation, to make whatever mark you're going to make. You're going to get up, you're going to get some exercise because you know it's good for your body. And at that moment, a voice came over me and it said, look up. Get up and don't ever give up. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. Some people, well, I guess ain't nobody home. Well, if they have the determination just to keep on knocking, it's a funny thing about life. If you're home one day, and someone is knocking on the door, and you say, I don't want to be bothered today. Say, what is it? What do you want? And that's how you've got to be about your dream. Keep on knocking. Everything you did today, we're going to do today, was going to have a purpose behind it, it was going to matter. Whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it, period. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. And some of you right now, you want to be, you know what I'm saying, you want to go to the next level. I want to counsel, you know, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a doctor, listen to me. You can't get to that level. You can't get to the level economically where you want to be until you start investing in your mind. You're not reading books. I'm challenging y'all to go to conferences. I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself. When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. I tell you to get to a place where people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. I need you to invest in your mind. Invest in your mind. If you still talk about your dream, if you still talk about your goal, but you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. After we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dream!
I, I feel that I, I very often watch a, a lot of young people sort of meander around without any idea about why they're doing what they're doing. I mean to want and to be ambitious and to want to be successful is not enough. That's just desire. To know what you want, to understand why you're doing it, to dedicate every breath in your body to achieve if you feel you have something to give, if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing, is worth caring for, then there's nothing you can't achieve. And Steve Jobs said, when you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way that it is. And that your life is to live your life inside the world and try not to get in too much trouble and maybe get an education and get a job and make some money and have a family. But life can be a lot broader than that when you realize one simple thing. And that is that everything around us that we call life was made up by people that are no smarter than you. And that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Everybody's got parts of their life that shape the way they look at today and how they behave today. Everybody does. Everybody has a backstory, multiple backstories. The question is, which one's running you now? But what I'd say the common backstory for the successful people is hunger. I got to do more than just the average man would do. I got to set a mark that can't nobody um, touch. And then when I set that mark, I'm going to make it. You can often tell how far your life and career will go based on the five people that you spend the most time with. And so I added on to that and I said, if you have a problem with your life, you should have a problem with the people in your life. Anybody can do anything they set their mind to. It depends on how bad you want it. Don't even use the word commit don't even think about the word discipline. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. Your, your life really ends up being a composite of all the habits that you've developed. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. Not the goals or the grand schemes or the vision or the big idea. It's what you fucking do every single day that matters more than anything. Develop good habits that will carry you through to having a very successful life.
at the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. Behind your little feelings, it might not be absolutely nothing at the end of your little feelings. But behind every principle is a promise. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now, because you're just all about your feelings. You, you all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were, in fact, easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. Live your life with passion. With some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. The last chapter to your life has not been written yet. And it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? This year, I will make this goal become a reality. I won't talk about it anymore. I can. I can. I can. persevere I think is important for everybody don't give up don't give in there's always an answer to everything No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, problems are going to be a part of your life. In life, you're either going 
to a storm, right? Are you hearing me? You are on your way to a storm. You are actually in a storm or you coming out. It, it's a part of life. Don't be consumed with them. Problems are a part of life. But guess what? They're not life. I want you to focus on your dreams. I want you to focus on your goals. I want you to focus on your solutions. Like I want you to focus on uh, that dream life that you have. Stop, all I'm telling you is stop letting the, the, the problems consume you. And that is the basis for all change. I'm going to say it again. I don't care who you are. We're either going in a storm, like for real. You're literally going in a storm. You're actually in it or you're coming out of it. It's no, it's no way around it. So just be careful not to allow the trials or the tribulations to consume you. I just need you to deal with it because it's not going to go away. No matter what happens to you in your past, you are not your past. Because the worst your life is, if you've survived the worst of the worst, if you've made the biggest mistakes and are still breathing, and you can learn from that, and that builds muscle. stuck on the fact that my biological father was not in my life. I was so stuck on the fact that my man abandoned me. I was so stuck on the fact that, 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 that he never told people that he, I was his. I was so stuck on the fact that he wasn't there for me when, you know, to ride my bike, to get my driver. I was so stuck. When you get on the other side of all that pushing and you relax and you rest, that's when your muscles grow. Look, when you get on the other side of this problem and you get to relax, and you get the rest when you get on the other side of it. That's when you start growing. That's when life starts to change. That's when you start to attract. You don't attract greatness. You don't attract your dream life, your dream job. You don't attract those things, guys, by avoiding problems. You attract them by dealing with them at all. I don't care how big it is. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how complex it is. I don't care. What I'm telling you to do is to Deal with it. You can get through this. You will get through this. You must get through it. You are going to get through this. When you get on the other side, I'm trying to tell you, when you get on the other side of the problem, it's everything you dreamed of. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Look up. Get up and don't ever give up. Never say never because limits like fears are often just an illusion.
take a second. Sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. And with every time you fail, it's painful. It causes sadness. And especially as I saw last night, it causes disappointment. I've often said a man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory, by, but, but by what he does when his back is against the wall. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. I started working on my dream and most people don't work on their dreams why for many years I didn't one is because of fear the fear of failure what if things don't work out and the fear of success what if they do and I can't handle it the other thing is that most people ladies and gentlemen they get comfortable they stop growing they stop working on themselves they stop stretching they stop pushing themselves and they end up becoming very cynical about life and they throw in the towel on themselves and on their families and on their dreams. And the other thing is that most people don't feel worthy. What I'm doing now, I could have been doing years ago, but because I did not have a college education, because I didn't believe in myself, because I allowed other people's opinion of me to control my destiny, I didn't act on my ideas. And not only is it important for you to know it's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life. People who don't want anything, people who are not striving, people who are not challenging themselves, people who aren't growing, people who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry 
people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. My mother used to say, birds of a feather flock together. If you run around with losers, you will end up a loser. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. The next step is, that is you. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say, you can count on me and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. You are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream because I'm in a room full of dreamers. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. And I want to share something with you that has changed my life. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation, that you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself and I can do this even if no one else sees it for me I must see it for myself that's necessary it's also ladies and gentlemen necessary that you be creative when you're working on your ideas that you understand the importance of, of changing up I can live my dream it's necessary I work on myself surround myself with winners Become creative. It's me. I gotta make it happen. It's not over until I win. your little sissy ass feelings makes you want to cry don't look for a pat on the back for me motherfucker because i don't have one for you i don't empathize with you one fucking bit i don't feel sorry for you if you can't take it get the fuck on i don't need you fuck you
You don't like that? Boo hoo, motherfucker, boo hoo. Go cry in your cornflakes. Eat another Twinkie. Undo your belt so your fucking ass stomach can fall out on the floor, bitch. Cry some more tears. Two tears in a motherfucking bucket. Fuck it. You don't like me? I won't lose no sleep over you. Motherfuck you. Sensitive ass bitches. You have no excuses. So no matter what, the nose bleeds, it's that time of the month, the kids are crying, you don't feel like it, you're a bad person, you got aches and pains, it's still your motherfucking set. Let's get it done. what you are for what you will become most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired you quit I don't do well in math you're right you ain't never studied I'm not good in writing because you have never written before talent you have naturally skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft if you are not making someone else's life better then you're wasting your time. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point the finger saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now! I'm gonna show you how great I am! In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, The kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Now, what are you going to do?
Yo, there's something you gotta understand about training. It is not just the body that's at work. There's an integration of mind, spirit, and body at play. There's a threshold that you have to cross in order to access the power of the mind and the spirit in your training. Lifting barbells isn't just lifting fucking barbells. Lifting barbells is a transformative process that makes you a stronger person of yourself instantly if you cross this threshold. Most people are too scared to cross that threshold. When you cross that threshold, you're like breaking through a fortress and within that fortress, there are jewels of untold value that will instantly turn you into a brand new person. A type of person that wherever you go, people will know that you're not the same. People will recognize the newfound power in you simply by approaching training from the spiritual perspective. That power is only found beyond the threshold. That power that's within that fortress, that transforms you instantly, that makes you a stronger version of yourself, that everyone sees, knows, respects, can appreciate, it's found in one place. There's a single opportunity in your workout to access this gate, to move through and transcend yourself. It's found in the last rep. It's called the transcendent rep. Everything that you've done up until this point leads to this single sweet spot. And it is here that you grow stronger. It is here that champions are born. It is here that you become the strongest version of yourself. Everything else is just a warm up. You can't be in the flesh when you approach that transcendent rep, that last rep that your body doesn't want to do, but your mind and your spirit have already done. The body just has to line up with you. But when you cross that threshold, not only does your body grow stronger because you did that last rep, but there's an alignment, there's a unity that happens between your body, your mind, and your spirit. Only when you're courageous enough to cross that threshold, that transcendence rep. When you put every ounce of effort, energy, commitment, discipline into executing that last rep, you transcend and you are born again. You become a brand new person. You're resurrected in strength. And everywhere you go from then on out, people will recognize that there's a newfound power in you. They can't see you the same way. They won't talk to you the same way. They won't feel you the same way because you're brand new. You will breathe different. You'll walk different. The look in your eyes will be brand new, stronger, more direct, more focused, more confident. They'll all know that there's a brand new, stronger you.